as we see on the bottom side of the home screen, we have an application launcher, which is a set of shortcuts which are used to launch applications. So inside the core viewer, we have many applications, and within these applications, we have four major applications. First, we have Pad Scope, which is an application used to scope a patient. That means to monitor the health activity of a patient continuously and in real time. Secondly, we have Pad ECG Exam, which is an application used to record an electrocardiogram to a patient. This application can record 3, 6 or 12 leads of the ECG signal that must be interpreted and analyzed by the cardiologist. Thirdly, we have Pad ECG Analyze, which is an application used to produce a computer-assisted diagnosis to help the cardiologist to make his diagnosis more easily. And we also have Pad Biotransmit, which is an application used to transmit data from one cardio part to another using the mobile phone network. Okay, now I will show you the process of how to perform an ECG examination to a patient and how the whole system will allow to produce a remote diagnosis using the data transmission. So suppose we have a patient in a district hospital, an hospital situated in a small village very far from the city where there is no cardiologist. So using the cardio part, the nurse will perform an ECG examination to this patient. And to do that, she will first place the electrode on the chest of the patient and then connect the electrode with the input of the Bluetooth ECG signal acquisition module. In the following step, the nurse will launch a program called Pad ECG Exam which will allow to perform an ECG examination to this patient. The recording of the examination is done in many steps. In the first step, the nurse will choose the type of the examination. Then that can be 3, 6 or 12 lead. For this demonstration, we will choose to perform a 6 lead ECG exam. In the second step, the nurse will enter the parameters of the, of the patient. Which, which are the following. First, we have the name of the patient, the arterial pressure of the patient, the sex of the patient, if the patient is a woman or a man, and we also have the age of the patient and the weight of the patient. So we will enter the name of the patient. and the arterial pressure of the patient. And then we will select, we will give an age for our patient. For example, 22 years and the weight of the patient, for example, 68. And then after entering, after entering the parameters of the patient, we will move to the next step. So the third step of the examination recording is the step during which we will record the ECG signal of the patient using a Bluetooth connection with, with, the, with the ECG signal acquisition module. And this will be done by pressing on the button. So now the cardio part will establish a connection with the Bluetooth ECG signal acquisition module and then the nurse can start the examination. And then the nurse will start the examination by clicking on the button. So the examination recording may range from 5 seconds to, to several days, but we generally need only 10 seconds for a complete diagnosis. So we we'll stop recording, disconnect the patient, and then move to the next step. So in this step, in this step, the nurse will enter the name of the cardiologist who requested this examination 
and then save the examination data into the database of the Corgi part.